Hosting Online Meetings with Adobe Connect in Moodle, Part 2. So hello, this is Francisca Wentworth, and we're going to look at Moodle and using Adobe Connect with Moodle. So this is Part 2, and we've already created the, the link to the room. So I'm going to show you what to do once you are in the room. So the first thing we'll do is click on that and give it a second and it will need to go into the Adobe Connect room. If you do not have Adobe Connect on your computer, you may be prompted to do a plug-in, which only takes a few minutes. But in my case, I've used this before, so it should connect and go into the room here. You'll see it says connecting. So the first thing you'll see, it has to load this again and it is actually loading a tutorial. So if you're not familiar with Adobe Connect, it's worthwhile going through the tutorial. It tells you about what the pods are, and I'm just going to go next and go through it. You can look at this at your, yourself, and then I will just close this window. So you'll see, the first thing you'll see, attendees. Right now it's only me as a host. Once you have students in there, you'll see under participants, you will see their names. So for students, it's very easy because all they do is click on that link and they're in the room. So the first thing you're going to need to do once you go into this room and students as well is select meeting and set up your microphone and your, your audio. So it walks you through. If you go to audio setup wizard, it will walk you through uh, and you can just go next and you, you check your sound and you go next and you check your make sure you have the right microphone uh, that you're using a microphone with a headset is the best thing to do and then you go next you can record and test what you sound like and then that's it and test the silence to make sure there's no background noise and then finish and then once your microphone is set up, then you'll be able to just connect it here. And once you do, it turns green, and then you can allow. Okay, so I don't want to do that right now because I don't know if it's going to interfere with what I'm doing right now. Well, let me go allow and mute. So when I mute it, you'll see there's just a line through here. All right, so if I'm hosting a meeting, I'm going to want to record the meeting. So I go meeting, record meeting, and it already gives me a name and I can just put the same thing so that I have something here. You have to put something, keep it short. Uh, and then just click OK. And then you'll see this little red dot means the meeting is now being recorded. So this way, students can later go back and listen if they were unable to attend. So a couple of things that you can do in here. You can use a webcam if you like. Start the webcam. Here you also have that option. If you don't want, these are all pods, these little boxes. If you don't want this here, you can hide it. So if I go over here, I'll get a menu and I can hide. And it's just going to go away. And the box is just gone. I can then move up my attendees box. You just grab and drag like you would anything. You have a chat box. Uh, you type in here and it'll just go into the, the chat. So this is a good thing for students. Um, they can ask you questions or comments. Uh, you will want to show students also that if they have a question, you have this status and there's a little drop down menu. So they can raise their hand if they have a question. You can also ask a question and have them either agree or disagree. Uh, you have other options if they need you to speak louder or softer, slow down, speed up, and so on. So you want to show students that. And then this is the pad where it says share my screen. Here is where if you wanted to upload a PowerPoint, I would just click on this little drop down and I'm going to say share my screen. Um, I don't know how well this will work. Um, okay, I need to do the add-in. So here's where it's telling me to do the add-in, which um, I would need to do, and that's going to take a minute, so I won't do that right now. But once you share your screen, you will have the option to upload a PowerPoint. It, you'll have to wait a little bit because it needs to convert. 
And that's pretty much all you do. So once you've got your audio and your speaker levels, you can uh, narrate your screen or talk to students, ask questions, and make it a live event. If you wanted to add another pod, let's say, so I've got this pod. Let's, meet, let's go over to a different layout. So this is the discussion layout. And maybe I want to add another kind of pod. You can see right now that this one, attendees, we already have. We have video, although we're not using that. Um, so we can actually take that one out. So that removes the pod from here. And let's say I want to add um, files because I want my students to be able to um, access files. So here I can upload documents. So maybe I want to give them a, a copy or access to this PowerPoint so they can go back and look at it later. I would just upload it here. And um, generally, I would convert it to a PDF first, because that's not as big, and then upload it, as opposed to uploading the PowerPoint itself. So these are each pods, and you can add as many as you want and move them around and arrange them however you like. So that's pretty much all I would need to do. Once you're finished, uh, let's say this is uh, the end of the recording, I can um, stop my recording, I can pause it, I can stop it. So let's say we're finished, I'm going to stop it. And then I can end the meeting. So I go to the bottom, end meeting. And here you can put a little message if you like. You can have a URL, let's say, if, you know, sometimes people have evaluations and it will go to another URL. Or you can just say, thanks for coming and click OK and now we are out of the meeting and it has ended. So thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy using Adobe Connect with your students.